Over here, to safety! <sighs> Kachina, how many people do you have left? What's the situation? There's a trapped caravan that needs our help. We need to rescue them as soon as possible. We'll go together. Stay safe. We've got this. Letting grave names echo! Woohoo! Woohoo! Catching at the flame! Following thunder! Right here! I really thought I was done for. I can't thank you enough. Don't worry about it. We're just glad you're okay. Let's see. Your goods look fine too. Guess the Abyss isn't after Mora. That should be the last Abyssal Pylon near the Children of Echoes. <sighs> By the way, where's Seat Lolly? I thought she would come with you. The Masters of the Nightwind also got attacked, so she went back to help her tribe. She said we can deal with the ancient name later. Yeah, that makes sense. The attacks are more urgent. Alright, this isn't a good place to talk. Let's head back to the tribe. Looks like a few people were hurt after all. Oh, I should have got here sooner. Ugh, the abyss threw a lot at us at once. I rushed out as soon as I heard the alarm, and there were already so many monsters. Before long, Kachina brought over a whole group of warriors, and just like that, we destroyed several pylons as a team. You mean the situation in the Night Kingdom, right? Yeah, I feel the same way. We've managed to keep it a secret all this time, but more and more people are realizing something's wrong. <sighs> it's impossible not to feel anxious when things are getting worse by the second, and all we can do is wait. That just means we need to buy the Pyro Archon more time. Keep pushing, everyone. Every battle is worth something. You really are an eternal optimist, Mulani. You always find a way to cheer people up. 
Why, thank you. <laughs> I guess it's one of my better qualities. So, specifics aside, the Pyro Archon confirmed the Gnosis can resolve the crisis, but it comes at a huge price. And somehow the captain finds out about it, goes to fight the Pyro Archon, and calls her out for having a solution but refusing to use it. Honestly, if he has the same information as us, I can't really blame him. before we left the stadium. According to her, the cost of the captain's plan is too high. And, well, it makes sense. If that was truly the better choice, she would have picked it. Yeah, I trust the Pyro Archon. When I was upset about Kachina's disappearance, she was really sincere and patient with me. Plus, she burned down all those precious mementos for Kachina. She's already proven how much she values even a single person's life. When it comes to Natland's survival, there's no way she would hold back. I agree. Maybe the captain weighed the cost and came to his own conclusion, but I'm sure we have different priorities. Life is important, but so are history and memory. As the Archon, she can't tell us everything, but it seems like she wasn't holding anything back this time. The next question is... If the captain found a new way to save Natlan, how come the Pyro Archon has never heard of it? Ugh, this is all super confusing. Hmm. We still don't have enough information. Once we figure out what the Fatui are doing, we'll have our answer. Intelligence officers should return soon. With how many Fatui there are, someone's bound to give something away. Sounds good. I have a few theories of my own. With a bit more information, we just might get to the bottom of the whole thing. I was just about to ask. Count me in. If I was just a bit faster, we could have prevented a few people from getting hurt. People who could help us in the next battle. Oh, it's all a chain reaction. Registered? <laughs> nah. I'll just follow you around. You know, go where you go, do what you do. You got it. I just don't want to make the trip back. It's so far. All right. See you all later. Let's get together and celebrate once this is over. Oh, you betcha! To worry. They ran into the Fatui while out on a mission and decided to follow them. The Fatui? Calm down and let me explain. Here's what happened. Watch out. It's the Fatui. Were they attacked by the Abyss? No, wait. It looks like they're protecting a group of travelers. Over there. Do you see? You're right. That's a traveling group from Natlan. Could they be trading for something? Let's keep observing for now. We're glad you're okay. 
given the appearance of abyss monsters all over Natlan. You should cancel your journey and seek shelter at the stadium or one of the tribes. Th th thank you so much. I wish there was something we could give you. We don't expect anything in return. We were out on a mission and saw you being attacked. It was our decision to help. If you truly wish to repay the favor, you can keep this a secret. If anyone asks, just say you were saved by warriors from Natlan. Oh, okay. We can do that. But... We're not asking you to cover up our activities. We haven't done anything illegal. Our captain simply wishes to remain undisturbed. Nonetheless, the decision remains yours. If we wanted to keep you quiet, we would have employed a harsher method. G got it. We'll get going now. Did you hear that? They mentioned a captain. Isn't that who the Pyro Archon is looking for? Exactly. We could be onto something big. Still, there was no trade. They were just helping people in need. I didn't sense an ulterior motive. I didn't believe the captain when he said he wanted to save Natlan. But based on what we just saw, it's possible he was telling the truth. Maybe we've been wrong about the Fatui this whole time. It's too early to say. Let's follow them and see what's really going on. So this is where they were headed. Looks tricky. It's heavily guarded on all sides. Koichi, wait for me here. I'll go in and check it out. Oh no you don't. How are you planning to get through all the guards? Look, I can use this terrain to my advantage. With our tribe's special way of getting around. I doubt they'll see me coming. We still can't see anything on the inside. What if you can't find cover? You won't have anyone to watch your back if you go in alone. The more heavily guarded the location, the more valuable the secrets. Even if the captain isn't here, we can still figure out what the Fatui are planning. That intel is worth the risk. Ah, <sighs> fine. You're not gonna listen to me anyway, so let me come with you. That's even more risky. You've been running around saving people for days. You're already at your limit. I'm confident I can protect myself. I'm not sure you can say the same. At least right now. I can. <sighs> you really believe that? Fine, don't believe me. But you can't honestly tell me infiltrating a heavily guarded Fatui hideout all on your own sounds more reasonable. You know, growing up, even if I insisted on doing something, it never gave you any trouble. I'm not sure you can say the same. Ugh, all right, all right. If we start arguing, this will never end. We can't let this opportunity go to waste. <laughs> Guess that means I win. Don't worry, you're not the only capable young person from our tribe. I can handle this. Alright, same plan as usual. We split up, communicate with hand signals, make sure our blind spots are covered, and support each other once we strike. Got your ropes? Yeah, let's go. Fatui have eyes all over this place. I should wait for Koichi's signal.
Now. Not sure how many chances I'm gonna get. I need to act. Good. I made it without getting caught. I should get to that platform over there. But it's guarded by the Fatui. Koichi should have line of sight. I'll wait for her signal. chance. It's no use staying in one place. I should keep moving. Looks like Chaska is helping me by keeping an eye on the Fatui movements. I'll wait for her signal. Time to move. Whew. That was close. Almost got caught. Probably can't make it over in one go. I'll wait for my next chance. Now's my chance. Show my sister. Let's see. The Fatui's occupying all the best locations. If we could just get past them somehow. Wait, I've got it. What's that noise? Did something explode? Oh, it stinks! <laughs> what the heck is that? What do you think you're doing? I could ask you the same thing! Good, they're arguing. Looks like they just needed an excuse. They've probably had enough of this job already. The people on the hill over there left to help their comrades. This is our chance! Come get me, Chaska! I hope she gets this hand signal. That's Koichi's signal. <laughs> Smart idea. Alright, time to move. Give me your hand. Quick. Coming! I checked, and this way is completely clear. It should lead us to the deepest part of this place. Well, I was pretty helpful, right? You know, everyone usually jumps at the chance to work with me. Not my own sister, though. No, she avoids me like her life depends on it. <laughs> I was wrong, Koichi. You've done well. Wait, you're just gonna admit it? Now I look like the mean one. Let's focus on the task at hand. We're in the heart of enemy territory. The more time we waste, the more dangerous this becomes. All right, all right. If you're not gonna take the bait, then I'll drop it. Looks like the Fatui are here to dig something up. I'm surprised they mobilized this many people. I doubt it's because they're interested in our culture and history. 
It seems like they're looking for a dragon relic called the Source Mechanism. The device is ancient. Barely any information survives to this day. And even people from Natland don't know how to use it. Why would this be the Fatui's target? Hmm, not bad. Looks like it's in good shape. This should be what our Lord's looking for. <laughs> Took us long enough. Come on, let's get this thing back. Back? Back where? Should we keep following? You really want to keep going? Of course! We make a good team, don't you think? No reason to stop now. Hmm? What was that sound? Uh-oh. We've been spotted. Time to go. Falling rock incoming! Watch out for your gadget! What? You'll regret that! After them! Once we got them off our tail, we went back to observe some more. They'd collected several identical pieces of something. It looked like they were waiting, though. So we decided to come back. So, Kuichi got injured trying to get them off your tail? <laughs> she pushed herself too hard and collapsed on the way back to the stadium. Well, I didn't cause you any trouble while we were fighting, right? So, my perfect record remains. <sighs> You've done very well. I could make a comment on knowing your limits, but it's not my place. I know, I know. I'm already reflecting on my actions. So, our current intel suggests the Fatui is after the source mechanism. The device is a complete mystery, even to us. <sighs> what does the captain want with it? I have no idea. But it's safe to assume the device could serve a similar purpose to the Gnosis. Shilonen, I need you to gather every scholar in Natland familiar with the secret source. Yeah, <sighs> I'll get right on it. Thank you both for your hard work. Koichi, it's time for you to get some rest. Oh, and there are gifts from your patients waiting at the speaker's chamber. I've prepared a small gift of my own as a token of gratitude. I'll send it to your home along with the others. My patients. That's so nice of them. <laughs> Guess that means I'm doing something right. You don't need to give us anything, Archon. We were just doing our duty for Natlan. I should take Kuichi home now. <laughs> well, if Koichi doesn't want her favorite Saurus crackers, then... Uh, I accept. Thank you, Archon. <sighs> what am I gonna do with you? There's some for the rest of you as well. They're one of my favorites too, so don't be shy. I'll start investigating the Source mechanism right away. If I learn anything, you'll be the first to know. I'm taking Koichi home, with our parents there to keep an eye on her. I can make sure she actually rests. Hey, it's not like I'm some kind of prisoner. I'll be fine in a day or two. There's no need to go all the way home. That's what you always say. Everything's no big deal until you collapse. What if the Abyss attacks again? You're saying if I let you rest in a hotel, you're not going to rush out the minute you hear the alarm? I won't. Triple promise I won't. Mm-hmm. Fine. On the off chance something like that were to happen, I might... But I'm a doctor. I have a duty to help people in need, no matter how hard or tiring the work gets. 
I guess you're right. But I don't have to like it. Ugh. <laughs> this reminds Paimon of when we first met! Except you were the one trying to stop Chaska from doing something dangerous. I'd do the same for anyone trying to put their life in danger. As a doctor, I don't want people to get hurt because of a rash decision. Then try to see things from my perspective. You clearly want to protect your patients. So can't you understand why your own sister would feel the same way about you? The two of you are the same, you know? <laughs> I disagree. I understand the risks and costs of my decisions. Who wants to be like her? Overconfident, always making excuses when things go wrong. <sighs> That's just not true. <laughs> you think I don't have proof? Okay, okay, don't get into another fight. Just pretend Paimon never said anything. Don't worry, Paimon. You didn't do anything wrong. Arguing is just how we communicate. Neither of us really takes it to heart. Plus, I guess we are similar in some ways. <sighs> Maybe I rush into things without thinking, but I learned that from her. We're family. I can't help it if my older sister is a bad influence. Okay, you don't have to put it that way. So, you're all good now? Neither of us are really the type to back down, so we'll always have our differences. But still, we get along in our own way. Plus, I know you'll wake up one day and realize I was right all along. I just need to wait. Be my guest. Come on, let's get you home. See you later, Traveler and Paimon. I'll be back once everything's settled at home. There's no rush. At least grab a nice meal with your family. Bye, you two. Take care of yourselves out there. Huh. Those two will probably make up for real at some point, right? Well, we've learned a lot. Let's go over everything that we know so far. <laughs> uh, sorry for popping up out of nowhere, again. <laughs> uh, why do you look so awkward? Oh, is there something you need from us? Okay, I won't beat around the bush. Oh, and I'm sorry for interrupting your rest. I'll treat you to some charcoal grilled steak to make up for it. Awesome! Just give us your orders! Hey, friends don't order each other around. I'm just here to share some news. Remember what we talked about before parting ways? Oh yeah, you mentioned how Auroron has always wanted to save Natlan, and something about his soul being fragmented. Paimon and the Traveler discussed it after you left, and we think Auroron is probably back with the Captain. What do you think? I agree with your hypothesis. And just now, I confirmed it myself. Auroron came back. He helped the Masters of the Nightwind defend our camp. What? He came back? I told him to give up whatever he's doing, but he refused. He said they're just one step away from success, so there's no way he can back out now. Apparently, he came back to fulfill his duty to our tribe. When he left, he said it was because he still has a duty to Natlan as a whole. I'm not surprised you let him go at all! I had to prioritize my tribe. Besides, the situation was intense. I couldn't focus on outside and inside threats at the same time. Plus, he was on guard. He knew I would try to go after him, so he made sure to keep his distance. I kept an eye out for a good opportunity, but it never came. Ugh, all these years of calling me Granny, and I couldn't do a single thing for him in the end. Don't say that! Your tribe all raised him together, right? 
That couldn't have been easy. <sighs> You're right. Seeing him come back reminded me of when he was little. Running around the tribe, dropping by random houses right and left. He's not only a child of the Masters of the Nightwind, but a child of Natlan. It's only natural for a child to want to do something for their family. Besides, Auroron is my apprentice. He might have a few tricks up his sleeve, but I guarantee I know every single one. Wait, what are you saying? Look. Remember how I said Auroron's soul is fragmented? This is the talisman I created to keep it stable. And this gem is what makes the talisman work. It just so happens that Auroron is due for a gem replacement. Uh, since I can't get close to him, I put the new gem in a supply bag and asked Aoife to bring it to him. You guys know Aoife, right? No? Well, he's a pretty famous vet around these parts. He's always bringing me all sorts of things, and he happens to be very good friends with Auroron. Aoife doesn't know what's going on, so he agreed, no questions asked. Auroron would find the gem as soon as he opened the bag. He knows how important it is, so I knew he would make the switch. He probably suspected that I tampered with it, but here's the catch. The trick is on the bag. The moment he touched it, a portion of his memories were copied onto the old gem, which he no longer needed. That's amazing. You can do something like that? Uh, most people can't, but I can. That trick he used to bring you to the Night Kingdom isn't anything special, by the way. My technique is much more subtle. He won't notice anything. So in other words, we have a whole backup of Auroron's memories in this gem! <laughs> The kid thinks he can take me on? Like I wasn't the one who taught him everything he knows? That's amazing, Seat Lolly. Let's take a look right away! Once we get to the bottom of this, we can finally track him down. Uh, I know he thinks of me as his grandma, but do you think he'll get mad at me for this? You can be honest. Huh. That's a tough question. Paimon doesn't have a grandma, so she's not the best person to ask. To be honest, I've always doubted my ability to look after him. I didn't stop the ceremony all those years ago, and now I'm useless again. But if I stop here, it will haunt me until I'm 500 years old. Every night I'll wake up in a fit of anger. Yeah, you're right. First anger, then tears. Oh, wait, who are you calling a crybaby? You're just making it worse, Traveler. <sighs> I need to look at his memory. Even if he resents me, refuses to see me, or runs away for good. I don't care, and I won't blame him. A family does whatever it takes to protect their own. You sure you'll be okay? We can come with you if you want. Did you just say... you'll come with me? Is that okay? We have a pretty good reason to see it too, don't we? Because... uh... Right! We need leads on the Fatui. You... Really mean it? Oh, fine, you can come. Just promise me you'll see this through. No backing out, got it? Don't worry, we're professional adventurers! Ah, uh, then I place my trust in your professionalism. All right, time to sneak into someone else's memory and engage in some... Uh... Unwanted spying. <clears throat> uh, you heard it here first. I wouldn't be doing this if I had any other choice. <sighs> Are you ready?
Look how good you're doing. You'll grow into nice big radishes in the future. And you? Eva says you're taking up too much space, but I think you're a good tree. What do you think? Hey! How's it going, Auroron? Good. How are you, Uncle Okanbi? Ah, can't complain. What you up to? Naming your vegetables again? No, just some idle conversation. <laughs> Sounds fascinating. What did they say? They told me you were coming and that you would take some produce with you. <laughs> Only if you're offering. By the way, I ran into Aoife yesterday. He told me Chaska's fostering a Saurian at his place. Said the thing trampled over a part of your radish garden. I hope you two didn't get into a huge fight. No, don't worry. I'll find a way for him to make it up to me. I've already wrapped your share of the produce. Here you go. You really knew I was coming. That's pretty amazing. Light up the smoke and you can see the path through the shadows. That's what everyone says. Hey, have you seen that strange group of people that just appeared out of nowhere? Appeared out of nowhere? I don't think so. It's the Fatui. Their leader seems like a big deal. He didn't bring many men with him, but they're all elite warriors. It seems like they're looking for someone, but I wouldn't go around asking too many questions. If you run into them, be careful. You're from the Masters of the Nightwind, are you not? Why do you live here alone? I enjoy living by myself out in the wild. I guess you're from the Fatui, the one everyone's calling a big deal. Not an inaccurate description. I'm looking for someone who may be known to you. Sitlali is her name. Granny? What does an outlander want with her? I've heard the name. You have business with her? <sighs> There's no point to further questioning if you insist on hiding things from me. I shall seek answers elsewhere. Oh, he could tell I was lying and now he's leaving? He gave up just like that? Hey! At least tell me why you're looking for Sidlali. It's none of your concern. I have my own means of tracking her down. Why are the Fatui looking for her? What does she have to do with them? I can't just let them go like this. I have to figure out what they're planning. just been studying the ley lines and asking for leads on Granny, I can definitely rule out some sort of invasion. The situation has seen no true improvement. The Pyro Archon did not fulfill her promise. My lord! Hmm? Ignore him. He is no threat. He knows I'm following him, but he doesn't seem to care. He's strong, I can tell, but there's something unusual about him and also familiar in some way. I can't describe it. Ugh. What is it? My lord, I... I feel dizzy. A ley line disturbance. Certain presences have been forced to wander outside their rightful realm. was a spell from the Masters of the Nightwind. How did he know that? Is he sending those escaped souls back into the ley lines? How did he do that so easily? Soul faring is supposed to be extremely difficult. This could be related to why he's searching for Granny. 
Ah, I feel much better. Thank you, my lord. Think nothing of it. Stay vigilant, and continue to gather information. The Abyss could attack at any moment. If you notice any irregularities, assume drill formation and be prepared to fight. However, there is no reason to over-engage. Information is our first priority. Yes, sir. Why are the Fatui fighting against the Abyss? Do they really mean us no harm? Still, they ignore me? Do they really not care? It seems like his subordinates refer to him as the captain. Never heard of him before. And now he's headed to the stadium. That's unusual. Oh, what is he gonna do? You two, with me. Everyone else, wait here as instructed. Send word to the other teams to retreat immediately if this fails. Yes, sir! He's going inside, but the Pyro Archon is in there. What does he want with her? Forgive me, my lord. Allow me to check one more time. Do you truly wish to do this? <sighs> the time for idle observation is over. It now falls on me to act. This nation is out of time. Yes, sir. He just walked straight into the stadium. What is he gonna do? <laughs> They're both incredibly strong. How long will they have to fight until someone comes out on top? <gasps> Wait, this feeling. Just like the other day near the ley lines, it's faint. Like a soul's trying to escape. Where is it coming from? Is that why he's looking for Granny? If he dies here, then all clues will be lost. I can't let that happen. Hmm. As for you, I must confess, I did not expect that little trick of yours to save the day. No matter how dense the fog, as long as the sun remains, we cannot turn day into night. She could have dispelled it. She simply chose not to. Ah, <sighs> you don't have much time. And you're injured on top of that. What do you plan to do next? I'm beginning to see just how useful you may turn out to be. You... heard something from here, didn't you? <coughs> no need to force yourself. I've never seen anyone match the Pyro Archon in battle before. Hmm. I didn't expect you to intervene at such a critical moment. You know I've been following you. Why didn't you stop me? When walking in the forest, it is only natural to encounter wild beasts. However, not every beast has the courage to come out and bite. And yet, one of those very beasts saved your life. Hmm. <laughs> then speak. What do you want? I didn't save you because I wanted something. My soul is more perceptive than others. I can sense that the ley lines are extremely weak. <sighs> I don't know what the Pyro Archon is planning. Can she really save us? The questions you asked her just now, well, I've had very similar doubts. So I felt like I had to help you. Ah. So you can tell the truth. That was quite a reckless decision to make. I'm not sure you realize that. 
There's no turning back for me now. What I did back there is going to get me in a lot of trouble. You attacked the Pyro Archon in broad daylight, and I used my spell to save you. A single glance was likely all it took for her to recognize my tribe. So, we're in the same boat. You seem to care little for my thoughts on the matter. It's too late for that. Start from the beginning. Why are you looking for Sitlali? Do you know her? Explain your relation to her first. I know you two are acquainted. It was obvious the moment I mentioned her name. Sitlali is my elder and my teacher. She taught me everything I know. It's my duty to protect her. If you truly wish to protect her, you should have let me perish at the Pyro Archon's hand. Yet, you chose otherwise. Do I really need to tell you what that means? <sighs> I want to do something to change Natland for the better. Something I can accomplish with my own two hands. You're stranger than anyone I've ever met. But maybe, just maybe, you can show me the way. Strange? <laughs> Sitalali is said to be the legendary Granny Eatstli, someone capable of communicating with the Wyub, and the Wyub are the key to information on the Night Kingdom. Why do you need knowledge on the Night Kingdom? That is not something you need to know. Don't forget, I saved your life. Do you not believe the Fatui capable of betraying a debt? People can lie, but souls cannot. I can tell there's a weight to your soul, a sense of justice. You may not live among your tribe, but you certainly know their tricks. I apologize for my rash judgment. You are more capable than I imagined. Let's go. We'll see if you have what it takes to join my plan. I see. Interesting approach. Worth trying, I think. Rather than weaving a net to protect the ley lines, this method would address the root problem by reconstructing the ley lines themselves. Traveler, Paimon. Are you two all right? Uh, Paimon's fine, just, um, <laughs> a little dizzy. Of course. I'm just... Oh, I'm so mad at him! <sighs> After everything, he still can't let go of the past. For some reason, he thinks he owes something to the people who cared for him. <laughs> Stubborn, self-righteous fool. Where's that gonna get him? Now that he's all grown up, he thinks no one can tell him what to do? He thinks he can just run away whenever he wants. <sighs> I'll show him. If he tries to run one more time, he's got another thing coming. Maybe stubbornness runs in the family! Like grandmother, like grandson, as they say! Is that supposed to be a compliment? Huh! That kid's got nothing on me! <sighs> anyway... Back to what we just saw... I don't even know what to make of it. Yeah, the captain seriously wants to... Reconstruct the ley lines? What does that even mean? Something like the loom of fate, maybe? But how does that help with the abyss? The loom of fate? Oh, I. It's kind of hard to explain. Basically, it's a device from Conrio that has unbelievable power. 
Anyway, if he really wants to manipulate the ley lines, everyone in that land will be affected. Oh, this is big. Which means... the captain has been honest from the very beginning. Auroron's memory proves that. Why is he so obsessed with saving Natlan? Oh, we've got to tell Moika about this right away! Yes. She needs to know about this. Now. <laughs> 